Hi there everyone, uh, this is Driveway DIY, just thought I'd do a tool review for you. Uh, this is a Sealy uh, remote starter, it's a pretty good bit of kit, I think everyone should have one of these in their toolbox, especially if you're just starting out in uh, auto repair. Uh, it's a great little bit of kit, I mean the idea, the idea is, I mean, I've seen so many different versions of it, I've seen people use uh, just wires, bare wires, just to start their car remotely from in the uh, engine bay but if you do if you've got a starter problem or something you want to check but you don't want to keep getting in and out of your car this is something for you basically it's just 10 amp wire uh, that you put on your battery post uh, and then to your start solenoid uh, key on position and all you do is just press that and it will start the car or if you've got a no start problem or whatever it will just keep cranking it over uh, it's as simple as that really, but it's a lot safer than some of the versions that I've seen used where people just using one wire, uh, one length of high grade wire and they're just touching from one to the other. Sparks flying everywhere, a bit of a dodgy situation, but this is a, uh, definitely worth getting hold of one of these. Uh, that's the model number. Uh, and that's pretty much it really. I'm just going to, I'll take it out to the car to show you how, uh, how to link it up. Uh, there's various ways of of linking it up you just want a 12 volt feed to your solenoid but uh but yeah this is this is pretty much it so i'm just going to go to the engine bay and show you uh, what i do all right so we're out in the engine bay so basically what i've got now uh so like i said before you've got two wires uh you've got one attached to battery positive the next one attached and if you can see down there down in the depths my starter motor so you can see it, yeah, it's down there, it's on the uh, start solenoid. It's in the key on position. And basically all you do, well it's going to get a bit noisy now because uh, I haven't disabled the engine, but so you just press this together. So she's going to do it now, so uh, excuse the noise. And, uh, so just go and turn it off. And uh, that's pretty much it, really. A uh, couple of things to remember. Obviously, you're dealing with uh, uh, 12 volt electricity, so be very, very vigilant. Make sure you know what you're doing. Keep the leads out of the way of any moving parts. Uh, it's in the key on position. Don't try and start it uh, because you won't need to because you've got this. Obviously, if you're looking for a no start or no crank, this is a good tool for bypassing uh, start, uh, starter. Uh, components and uh, all that sort of stuff, uh, transponders and things like that. But you need the key in there uh, on the on position. Make sure it's out of gear. Don't leave it in gear because this is going to go forward and hit you in the legs. Uh, and that's pretty much it, really. It's got a bit of kit, made by Silly. There are quite a lot of other things out there as well. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely worth having this in your kit when you're starting out if you're trying to diagnose stuff from your engine bay. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully you like this, hopefully this helps you. Thanks for watching, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, and give us a subscribe, plenty more to come, lots of stuff to do, so uh, thanks for watching.